All these stories are true and happened to one of us. <laughs> when Paul here was in college, I was his boss one summer. He worked in my botany lab on campus. A couple of times I brought him over to the house so he could check out my garden. Once I took him canoeing on the lake to see the nesting of the great blue herons. And I sat behind him like this. <laughs> His hair smelled so good and he felt so nice and he didn't pull away. So when I reached around to hand him the binoculars, I, I had to put myself through college and I, I really needed this job. It was just for the summer, right? So I didn't say anything. I was hanging out downtown one night, looking for some fun, when this hottie walks up to the ATM. Oh, he was looking so hot I couldn't help myself. I just went up behind him and I... I thought one of my friends was playing a joke on me. I turn around with this big grin on my face and I see this woman I've never seen before. I felt so stupid and confused. I didn't know what to do, so I just left without getting my money. When I taught high school, Chris here was one of my favorite students. Smart, mature, even at 16. And every time he wore shorts to school, <whistles> damn. I'd wait till all the other students left my classroom and I'd say, hey Chris, I can't stop thinking about those long, sexy legs of yours. And I can't stop thinking about that cute little ass of yours either. <laughs> How am I supposed to teach with all this distraction? <laughs> I, I really liked Mrs. Portman. She was funny and thought I was smart. She told me I was going places. But sometimes I felt a little weird around her. I didn't want to get her in trouble though. She was like everybody's favorite teacher. So I, I just stopped wearing shorts to school. I don't even know this little bitch's name. You know what? <laughs> I could give a shit. <laughs> yeah, I was in the army, stationed in BFE, Germany, taking orders all day long from these fucking asshole officers. When this little shit walks out of the base bookstore like he owns the place. So I went up to him and I said, Hey, bitch, you better watch your fucking back, because I'm going to fuck you in your cunt. <laughs> you should have seen his face. I ran home, and I never told anyone what that mean lady said to me. <laughs> but after that, I was afraid to walk up Carl's face alone, so I just stopped going to the bookstore. <laughs> We gotta take the power back! We gotta take the power back! We gotta take the power back! So I didn't say anything. I was so confused. I didn't know what to, what do. to do. So I left without getting any money. I didn't want to get my, my teacher, teacher in trouble. trouble. So I just stopped wearing shorts to school. I was scared to walk across space. space alone, so I just stopped going to the bookstore. All these stories are true and happened to one of us. Oh.